Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to retouch the moon. And in a matter of just a couple minutes, we're going to go from this to this using only Lightroom. Let's jump in and make it happen. BBK Studios. Welcome. I'm so glad you could stop by and join us. And what we have here is a photo from back in September for the Blood Moon Lunar Eclipse at one rare event here in Detroit. It was just a nasty gray overcast sky for most of the evening and after sitting for a few hours we were about to pack it up when we finally got just a very small quick break in the clouds and we were able to fire a couple photos off. We didn't think we had anything really major or significant. Get home, get everything in the computer and get into the Lightroom and then we had this. And this is where the power of Lightroom really starts to show through. So let's get started. And we're just going to do my normal workflow. Start at the bottom, come up top, and work our way back down. And under camera calibration, we're going to leave it on Adobe Standard. Because typically I would go to Landscape or maybe even Camera Standard. But I like the way Adobe Standard looks from the start and lens correction enable profile remove chromatic aberration and constrain it to the crop just like always and for some reason still with this lens i have to tell lightroom which one it is and already you can see just the subtle difference and then we'll come back up here and here is where our artistry comes in. Uh, maybe a little too red. We'll just click through them all and see how we like it. Eh, that's getting a little close. Back this down, cool it down just a little bit. Because I'm watching the color across the moon and a little bit that's coming in right here in the break in the clouds. And we'll come down here. Highlights down just like always. Shadows up just like always. Let's see if we can brighten it up. There's everything. There we go. Now you can see why we shoot raw and why we use Lightroom. Maybe just a touch of contrast. About like that. We'll set our white point holding down Alt. Or option on a Mac will drag up until we see some pixels on the screen to about right there yeah we have a lot of black but I'm gonna add just a little bit just like that and moving down just uh, too much clarity I'm not gonna add as much clarity as what we normally would for most photos but I like that there add a little bit of vibrance for my moon photos typically I go about on vibrance half of clarity and we'll add just a little bit of saturation to bring out just a little more color and noise reduction this was low light and there's going to be a lot of noise which you can see there we'll move up color noise to about 50 that's the red and green pixels that you'll see in the noise and holding down alt again we'll bring that up till our noise disappears about like that i like We'll zoom back out and for sharpening. Again, my go to for sharpening is a radius of 0.6. And then remembering the rule for sharpening noise reduction minus 100 equals the max sharpening that I'll go to. So 100 minus 38 is 62. So we'll go up to about right there. Zoom in. 
We'll turn that off just to see the huge difference that makes. Zoom back out, hitting the backslash on the keyboard. You can see where we started and where we're at. Nice, quick, and easy, and unreal compared to where we started with the original photo. Down in here, I'm going to use the dehaze, probably just very subtly, though. So I'm watching for the contrast right around the edges of the moon. We bump it up. Remembering dehaze is basically intelligent contrast. And this, too, becomes an artistic choice. We can really crank it up and get some definition and start to bring out the blues in the sky that we couldn't see with our naked eye. But for me, that was looking a little cooked. And I think I like it just about there. Again, we'll check our before using the back slash key. And a matter of just a very brief few minutes, what a huge difference this photo has become. And I think I'm going to add a little clarity on the moon using the brush. Double click on effect. To reset it and we'll bring the clarity up to about 16 we'll go down make sure auto mask is off we'll leave flow and feather about mid 80s and just very quickly paint our clarity across just like that we'll click down here for show the mask Turn it back off. I'm getting ahead of myself. Check our before and our after. We could probably bump the clarity up on this just a little bit more. We don't want it to look over processed. We don't want it to look cooked. And we actually are almost done already that quick. Because this photo doesn't need really a whole lot to it that's our before and that's our after we don't even have to crop it in and I think we are actually gonna call this one done thanks for joining in I appreciate you having you here if this is your first time here please hit the subscribe button on your way out and we'll see you next time Studios.